What's up guys? We are back with another video and it review. Today we're taking a look. I actually got these from Big Bad Toy Store, except this one. This right here I actually got from FYE. They got a new uh, little lenticular poster in, which I thought was pretty cool. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Look at that. It says come back and play. This was priced at $12.99. It's got everything to hang on there. So I figured why not share that with you? And I know a lot of you guys are wondering what I picked up, whether it was the animatronic Pennywise from Spirit Halloween or the life-size Chucky doll. What I picked up is actually both of them. So you guys will be seeing a review on the animatronic Pennywise from Spirit Halloween. The thing is huge. Have not set it up just yet. So you guys will be seeing all that in future videos. Um, but what I got from Big Bad Toy Store, you guys can use my link in the description down below. This is the brand new Migos, Migos Corporation. It. 20 not it's 2017 it 1990 pennywise based off of the tim curry mini series and the vinny vinny mates this is my first vinny mate i've ever gotten from diamond select which i thought was pretty cool and this one's based off of it chapter two we'll do this one on a separate video but we are taking a look today this is something i've been super hyped about this is the 20 or I keep on wanting to say 2017 the 1990 pennywise tim curry loved the mini series and this is from migo I did a video on this when it was announced a while ago and it finally is hitting stores. I haven't seen it in stores officially, but like I said, it is in stock now. Um, now, this is something that I almost kind of want to keep in package because of how great it looks, but I'm not going to because I'm just not a mint on card collector. You have the white card. It says it, the movie, Pennywise, eight inch action figure. This is pretty much the first official Migos 1990 you know retro style pennywise i've seen a lot of cool customs but this is an official one until neca releases there so i can't wait till that one comes out to do a comparison you have uh, pennywise right there on the top right on the back it tells you a little about the little bit about the guy who created you know the the migo corporation and then you have the uh the poster right here on the back of the packaging so let's open this up and take a close look at pennywise we're going to see if he's a pickup or pass all right, let's get into it. Pennywise does come with a balloon, and you can see this actually looks pretty good. I actually like how they did this one compared to the NECA one. It doesn't have the bendy wire in it, so you can't move it around, but um, I actually like how sturdy this one is. It's not as flimsy as the NECA one, although I do love the NECA one, but this one, I think um, the Migos Corporation did a great job on the balloon here. So that's the only accessory that you do get. And here he is, guys, Pennywise the Clown, the Tim Curry version. Look how creepy th this guy looks. You know, when I was looking at the uh, promo images, I wasn't really happy with how this looked. But now seeing it in person, this does look fantastic. Um, it doesn't look too much like Tim Curry, but it's still very, very creepy. I like the way they did the mouth. The teeth look a little bit on the sloppy side. Um, but the eyes look great. Look at those eyes. I love the paint apps on there. The nose looks pretty good. They actually uh, used, you know, you know, like hair material right here for his red fuzzy hair. Uh, the white on the makeup looks pretty nice. The sculpting on the face looks pretty good. You have the little fluffy outfit. So this is all cloth. You have the little um, orange pom-poms. So you have his signature yellow and blue with the stripes that he wore in the 1990 miniseries i like this here it's all bedazzled out how cool is that uh this looks like it's velcro can you open this up you can probably open this up uh you can see he's wearing his uh white gloves and then the sleeves again you can see the different color in the sleeves there's the back of the outfit and then you have his black shoes, which can you see shoelaces on there? Yes, he's got the laces on there. There's no peg holes at the bottom, so I'm assuming I'm assuming this guy can stand fine on his own. Let's see. Let's do a let's do a little test here. Come on, dude. Can you stand? Okay, right. If you if you position him the right way, you can get him to stand good on his own. Okay, so he does have a problem. He cannot hold on to the balloon that great. I mean, uh, unless you were to put it something like that. But or kind of like twist it to the side, but he's not going to hold the balloon how I would want him to, which is, you know, obviously kind of like straight up. But um, I mean, <laughs> it's a Migos figure. So you're this is like the best I can probably do it for right now for this video. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the articulation for this guy. He does have rotation in the head sculpt. Uh, does it go up and down? No, it does not go up and down, but you can rotate it. The arms do go in and out. It almost has like a ratchet in there forward and back a bend at the elbow well that's kind of weird it feels like i'm gonna break this so i don't want to mess with the arm too much the hand does have a hinge um it can rotate looks like he's got some ab articulation rotation in the ab and the waist 
legs go in and out, forward and back, bend at the knee, upper leg rotation, the foot can uh, rotate, go up and down. You got the whole kind of like ankle pivot. So he's pretty good in articulation. But there you go, guys. There is my review. Today we're taking a look at brand new Migo Core 1990s Pennywise the Clown. Uh, definitely in my in my book, because I'm a big Pennywise fan, especially the 1990 miniseries, I think this is a pickup. It's probably not going to be for everybody because, I mean, if you're not into these retro style figures, I love retro figures, so this is right up my alley. Absolutely love this. I'm pretty sure the NECA one is going to be more movie accurate as far as the look goes, so I can't wait to pick up that one and do a comparison. But overall, this is the first official Mego style 1990 Pennywise and I can say I really do like this figure. I like the head sculpt. Um, I wish he held on to the balloon a little bit better. The articulation is pretty cool. The cloth outfit is fantastic and he can stand perfectly fine on his own. I think it would have been cool if he came with like an interchangeable head sculpt but the whole Migos figures they don't come with a lot of ex uh, you know accessories. I do own several of the horror figures from the Migos and some of the Batman stuff so I do love what they are doing and it's very affordable. So like I said guys if you guys want to pick this up you guys can use my link in the description down below for Big Bad Toy Store. Hopefully they give us a 2017 version of Pennywise as well. But let me know down below, guys, is he a pickup or is he a pass? Thumbs up the video. We'll see you soon, guys. Later.